What is a calf tear? The calf muscle is located at the back of the leg. It's also called the gastrocnemius. And a calf tear, also known as a calf strain, occurs essentially when the internal force that goes through that muscle is greater than the muscle can handle. The fibers of the muscle tear, there's resulting pain and bleeding, and that's a calf tear. What causes a calf tear? Typically a calf tear will occur when there's a, a, a sudden change of direction, uh, often in a sporting activity such as tennis or basketball. And the reason that this motion predisposes to a calf tear is that this is a motion where there, the calf is contracting but it's also lengthening. This creates a tremendous internal force within the muscle and it predisposes it to cause tearing. Who gets a calf tear? Well, anyone can tear their calf, but it is more common in middle-aged uh, athletes. And, and probably the reason for that is that as people get older, their muscles and tendons tend to get a bit stiffer. So if you combine that with perhaps not warming up as well as you should, you really put that muscle at risk for tearing. What are the symptoms associated with a calf tear? Uh, well, initially, there's fairly intense pain in the calf region. Um, that's followed by bruising, um, swelling, and quite a, a significant limp in the first uh, few days or week after the uh, injury. And uh, the muscle fibers can tear really anywhere in the calf muscle, although they probably tend to occur more frequently a little bit lower down on, and on the inside. So how is a calf tear different than an Achilles tendon rupture? They both have very similar mechanisms, sudden change of direction. They tend to occur in uh, athletes, uh, particularly those in their middle age. The main difference is the location of the injury. So the calf tear occurs in the calf muscle, which is uh, up a little higher, closer to the knee joint, whereas the Achilles, that's down towards the heel. So that's the main difference is the location of the injury. How is a calf tear treated? Uh, well, the treatment is going to vary a little bit depending on the extent of the injury, but the typical treatment uh, involves initially controlling the symptoms. So that's done with ice and rest, elevating the leg, and if there's no contraindications, taking an anti-inflammatory or some type of uh, medication to control the pain. You're also going to want to keep the calf relatively immobilized, for example, in a walker boot and uh, crutches are, are likely going to be necessary for the first week or two. And all that is designed to rest the calf while it heals. Once it starts feeling a little bit better, uh, then you can increase your activity level and um, eventually get into rehabilitating the muscle. And the things that you want to work on with respect to rehabilitation are getting that ankle motion back to uh, full motion. And the second thing would be regaining all of the calf strength that might have been lost from the injury. What is the recovery from a calf tear like? Well, it's variable depending upon the extent of the injury. Uh, the first uh, week or two, you're often just trying to protect it. Um, and then the actual Recovery will typically take four or six or eight weeks, depending upon the extent of the injury. It is uh, possible that there can be some residual symptoms from the scar associated with the injury, and those may persist, although fortunately that doesn't happen too often. And it is important in the recovery to regain the muscle strength that may have been lost as a result of the injury. So, in conclusion, calf tears can be frustrating injuries, but with appropriate treatment, usually a full functional recovery is obtained.